Something is up with this tradie, selling himself as the roofer you can trust, then leaving customers uncovered. We tracked him down and, well, it wasn't pretty. I think he's a nasty piece of work. It's absolutely frustrating because it just felt like he walked off with our money. They've paid you deposits. Yeah, and, no, um, no. You haven't even done any work. Um, you've, you've stonewalled them. Speak you've, to my lawyer. Please. You've ghosted yeah. them. These customers say Robert Taylor is the tradie you want to avoid. Hi, Robert. It's Pippa from A Current Affair. We just wanted to ask you some questions about your business practices. Yeah, not today, thanks. And that's the same excuse he's been giving his customers after taking large deposits for work he's never completed. Are you Australia's that's worst that's... roofer? I don't know about that. That's ridiculous. And I don't know what you're on about. He sort of came across quite convincing and... Um, and I was desperate. Marion Hode's roof had been leaking in her bathroom and dining room and needed an urgent fix. Robert Taylor, whose catchphrase on Facebook is the roofer you can trust, showed up. He got onto the roof. He actually nearly fell off it too. <laughs> but he got onto the roof and wandered around and said there was this and that and the other that needed to be done. The work came to a total of $6,120. Robert told Marion he needed a sizeable deposit paid up front to buy supplies. So you paid $2,500 yes. and you thought the work would start in late January, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, he promised the next day. He never showed up? No. <laughs> Days stretched into weeks of Marion asking when Robert would return to start the work. I used to text him every two days and saying, when are you coming or I'd phone, but mostly he wouldn't answer the phone calls. Three months on, an offsider of Robert's finally showed up, but Marion had to pay him as well, and only half the job was done. So you've paid twice for the job to be done, really, I have. haven't you? Yeah. Marion's invoice was written under the business name Thermoguard Roof Restoration, despite Robert using the business name Australian Reflective Roofing online. The name on this invoice, the, the licence number, the address, none of it is correct, is it? No, none of it. Even the phone number belongs to some woman who has no idea of who he is. I've had no response from him whatsoever. He will answer the phone and hang up immediately, but that's it. Debbie side. Venables paid Robert Taylor a $3,500 deposit to repair her roof after storm damage. I should have had my radar working. He arrived here with no ladder, um, no shoes, proper shoes. He had thongs on. But like Marion, after getting his money, Debbie says Robert made excuses for why he never showed up. So I started ringing and he had all sorts of excuses that they were finishing up on a job, they were slow, they were this, they were that. Then I found out he was going to Melbourne. He was on the road to Melbourne and that was to supposedly have a treatment for foot cancer. Debbie is legally blind. She believes Robert took advantage of this by always sending her messages instead of her husband. Lowest of low. Um, it feels like you're being preyed on. You're being victimised. Debbie says Robert has promised her a refund multiple times. What um, is happening with my refund? Well, um, I got back from Melbourne about a week ago and I'm... Um, I'm happy to probably give it back to you this week. But you promised me that you would refund Last it. Week, I don't know. Debbie has since found out Robert was convicted of similar actions in 2019, fined $24,699 under the name Thermoguard Roofing Restoration for taking deposits and never doing the work. He has been taken to court by fair trading. He has a conviction against him, but he still has a licence. 
But that licence isn't actually his. His recent invoices are littered with inaccuracies. His supposed address belongs to a bookstore. His phone number, different to the one he's using for business. His ACN, long since deregistered. And his licence number belongs to someone else. What's happened, Debbie? You've literally Sorry. ripped off a blind woman. No, I don't know what you're What about Marion? You haven't done her work either. When we caught up with Robert, he was driving his unregistered work ute and suddenly he couldn't remember his customers. Who's your lawyer? Are they going to get their money back? Do you have anything to say to these claims? They say that they've paid you deposits and you haven't done any of the work. This is absolutely crazy. But it appears Robert's driving ability is about as good as his roofing ability. Do you know your car's unregistered? I, I, I feel so sorry for his other victims and I really would like to see him named and shamed so that more people know and can, he can just stop. Well, for the record, we did notify the driver about that bingle. While the Queensland Building and Construction Commission confirmed Thermoguard Roofing had its licence cancelled in 2018. It also confirmed it's illegal to use another person's licence and that could result in a police investigation.